Hello and welcome to Flory Models Get View Time. Today we've got something brand new. This is the 172nd scale Latiki. I'm going to go with that uh, or Latiki uh, J22 Aral. Now, again, not sure I'm pronouncing that right. I've had a look on the internet. There's not a lot of information about this particular one. What we do know, though, is that uh, Latiki are a brand new company. This is their first kit release that we've seen, and it looks to be they've hit the ground absolutely running because this thing looks really smart. I was first brought into contact with this a good few months ago uh, when uh, Latiki reached out to me some of those sort of CAD work bits and pieces and all the rest of it. And it really pricked my interest because it looks really, really nice. And as a new kit manufacturers, it's really hard for them to sort of get on the ground and with funding and things like that. So it's really nice to see this one. So down in the box, you see beautiful bit of box art, uh, as you can see. So from my first view, I'm looking at it thinking it looks like a love child between a Jaguar and an Alpha Jet. Uh, but it's probably more Jaguar. When you see pictures of it on its gear and stuff like that, it's very Jaguar-esque, all right? But uh, again, it's one of those sort of ones which is like, looks a little bit of inspirations come from all over the place, which makes it truly unique, all right? So we've got different uh, decal options down for it in here. Let's grab my glasses. So it is basically a, a joint sort of project uh, with the Yugoslavian uh, Air Force uh, down in here. And again, we've got, I think it's, was it the Romanian Air Force? I can't which one it is now, I'll have a look in a minute, uh, as you can see. But you do get six different uh, decal options down in there at different times as well, from 98, 2007. There is some difference in the markings when they change. Beautiful tail art on one of them as well, all right? So as you can see, your kit number for this one is 72001. So it just goes to show it's a really, really nice job, all right? So in the box, and this is what really pricked my interest as well, was this. So we've actually got... A little bit of photo etch and we've got a mask set all in one all right then literally just down in here we've got the kit itself and we've got a very nice as you can see color sheet with all the information with the schemes on here and obviously you've got them all literally like that so that's very nice indeed so very nice we'll have a proper look and you get a gorgeous little color poster as well from the box art again really nice frame it up keep it and it's something a little bit special to be had all right so down in the old instructions and again packaging is beautifully done really nice so we have in our little bag we've got the decals and we've got the instructions as well so we've got the decals as well done down in here which absolutely look very nice we'll have a proper look at those in a moment so as you can see we've got it literally down in here dear modeler new company Specialise in production of short run plastic kits. So we're happy to offer you the 72nd kit of the Yugoslavian uh, J22 ground attack aircraft. So again, really very, very nice indeed. But again, they, you know, short run companies, you often think of them being like dodgy instruction, dodgy decals, dodgy moulding and all the rest of it. I wouldn't call them that, but again, looking really nice. Instructions, first time I've seen them, look really very nice as well. So we've got some photo etch going down in here straight away with the actual ejector seat going in. We've got color call outs as well for the different versions as well. So keep an eye out for those. But again, nicely laid out. We've got photo etch for the instrument panel and the decal system as well, depending on which way you want to go with that as well. Down in there, I've got rudder pedals being fitted. And again, side walls options with decals or with photo etch uh, right the way in those as well and then again we've got the actual instrument panels being fitted down and in then your back end to the engines so down in here we've got the engines got a little sticker on here which is obviously taking about uh, removing some of the things down in there all right so a nice little one it's stuck in and not a bit of paper that's just floating around afterwards engines obviously being installed and fitted then we're down into the wheel wells and again it looks to be very nice details all the way through with those and then over here obviously we've got the fuselage so it's top and halves going to bottoms going together which i always think is an easier one to clean up all right so we've got those engines down at the back end intakes being fitted as well and then obviously we've got the actual tailplane and the tails and obviously the wings being fitted together and going on wheels being fitted in the gear which is very jaguar-esque which is quite cool uh, I always think it looks like bird of prey's claws on them when they're hanging down. So uh, very nice with those as well. And again, nose gear going up inside. Again, very Jaguar-esque. All right, all the way through. And then obviously you've got the speed brakes. Unlike the Jaguar, they're in front instead of behind the actual main gear. So again, we've got speed brakes. You can have up or down. Doors being closed up, obviously, behind the gear. You've got a little bit of open, obviously open nose bays. Pylons being fitted. And then for weapons bit, it looks like we've got fuel tanks. We've got some free fall bombs. Or we've got some rockets as well. 
cannons obviously it's got the cannons looks like twin cannons I don't know what size they are, if they're 30 mil, uh, down in there into the actual fuselage. We've got these bulges on the underside, which obviously I assume are flash, um, flare and chaff buckets uh, down underneath, which then fit underneath as well. And there's another bucket as well, which is done with a little bit of photo etch down in there as well. You've got photo etch as well. I assume these are fences for the wings uh, being fitted down into that one. And then you've got the canopy and obviously some pito tubes and things like that being fitted onto it. Got your weapons call outs and obviously you've got your colour codes down in here. They are calling out for MIG, but you've got Mr. Colour down in here as well. So it's quite an easy transfer over. Again, when you look at this, you wouldn't think they're a short run limited company. So it's basically got a little bit behind in here, which is talking about it. Um, and obviously it's a Yugoslavian and Romanian um, joint venture that went together to actually make it. And again, you've got the various ones in there. It uses the Rolls Royce Viper engine there which is obviously licensed uh, to Yugoslavia and Romania for it. Uh, equipment it's got uh, 23 millimeter cannons as well so again it's got everything you could need. So some very nice ones down in there. 165 of these were built over the years so yes very nice indeed. So moving into the closer thing I won't get these out but you can see decals really nice. In fact I don't know who prints these. They look uh, I don't know, can't, can't read that, my eyesight's not that good to see who's done that down in there, but uh, they look very, very nice indeed. Good, sharp, clean, crisp, well done. Yeah, very nice indeed. Instruments as well down in here, we've got the ones for the seats, for the ejector seats, really nice decals, and obviously all the stencil data you could ever want, so that's very nice. Down in here I do want to have a look at, oh, sorry, if we can do it from this side, but you have got, again, a beautiful bit of photo etch. So we've got the instrument panels down in here. We've got obviously some of the grills. We've got the side consoles. It looks quite thin. Obviously, I don't want to bend it to find out how thin, but it looks very, very thin, which is nicely done. We've got these wing fences down in here as well. Very nice with all of those, everything you can do. And again, we've got, which is a really nice touch these days, there's a little mask set as well. So it is die cut. It's all punched out, ready to go. All right, yes, it is in the plastic. I would have preferred to see it in the paper form because again, these have a habit over time of shrinking. But again, if you're gonna get straight on with it, you've got no problem at all. Right, let's get into the nitty gritty of it. Let's see what a new startup, limited run company can produce. Because to be honest, like a lot of you, I've seen all the, if I can get in it, I've seen all the stuff for it, but not the plastic in real life. But the cat stuff looked really good over the last few months. So again, we've got some clear stuff we'll look at in a moment. Let's get straight into it. So there we go. That's really nice. Sharp, good, crisp. Again, like limited run. I'd love to know where they get their name for that. Does that mean literally you just don't get the actual location pins? Because that seems to be the thing for it. Because yes, you don't get any with this. But when you look at the sharpness and the crispness of that, you wouldn't call that a limited run company. That looks really very, very nice indeed. I'm going to in the detail. You can see it's good, it's clean, it's sharp, it's crisp. The moulding all looks really, really nice, so that's good. Again, when you look at the wings, again, catch it in the light. Beautiful recessed details right the way through. Can't see any sink marks or anything else like that. Again, you can open up the holes if you have pylons or if you're not going to bother. You can just have it clean. So again, looking very, very nice indeed. And again, it's got beautiful riveting detail. It's all recessed. And again, wouldn't call it limited run, short run kit or whatever you want to call it. It looks really, really nice. Again, we've got all the details down in here as well. Really nice touch. We've got raised details for the actual inside, the actual wheel wells. So we've got some nice raised details down in there. Again, nice smooth, no ejector pins inside the intakes, which is again, another really nice touch. And again, we've got nice details inside the engines. Very, very nice indeed. All right, again, beautiful packaging. Something really, a bit of care taken about this, that it's actually got the protection on the sides as well, just to protect these little rocket pods just on here as well, because they are very sharp and obviously they could get damaged. But again, nice little bit of thought from the company to do that. But down in here, we've got the free fall bombs, we've got the rocket pods. We've got those chaff buckets and flare buckets looking very nice. And again, 
it's got everything you could ever want with this apart from locating pins and i said before i think they're overrated anyway because most of the time they just get in the way when you're trying to sand and clean things up so uh yeah very very nice indeed that's good clean i can't see any sink marks there's no flash on this it's actually beautifully done really really nice so again some more of the small details down in here and get into some of the real fine details you know sometimes i must admit i do these reviews and i think well look it's a new start company i'll cut them a little bit of slack and all the rest of it it's not tamia it's not any of these but honestly this is just the first time i've seen this properly it's really nice it's good sharp crisp it's as good as anybody else will produce out there very very nice as well there's some slight sink marks and some bits and pieces but they're all in the stuff that's on the blind side and out the way anyway and it's very very few and far between but there's no flash on this it's a really nice smart crisp molding right the way through on this to be honest it's very hard to find a fault with this so again lovely detail lovely detail up in these wheel wells again very nice with the engines down in here very nice indeed good stuff and again right the way through we've got no ejector pins which you could get away with them to be honest down in here but for the doors and stuff there's no ejector pins into it companies could should take a good look at this you know and because it's really nice got a tiny bit of flash just because i'm trying to put some balance on this and not sound like i'm just blowing sunshine up their ass but to be honest that's the only bit of flash i can find how ridiculous is this you get that on a tamiya kit beautiful very nice indeed right last up we've got the clear parts so we just want to pray now these are just perfect and if they are you've got a really are got a really good good kit here and a great manufacturer so let's have a look there we go look can't fault that they're perfect really nice we've got again i'm happy i've got a mask set because the only thing is there's not a lot of framing to butt up against it's quite softly done but because you've got a mask set you don't care but if you used to do it yourself and want to run around and cut it it'd be a bit of a nightmare trying to find it because it is quite soft but the rest of it is fine but because you get a mask set with it i'm not worried not worried whatsoever that's perfect but they're nice they're good to clear obviously at this scale it's very very difficult to get away from warpage but look at that main canopy that's not too bad at all in there at least it's clear and you can see through it so yes i'm absolutely blown away last up we've got because we sort of skim past these but we've got these full color pull outs as well again looking very nice indeed for whichever ones you want so again really really nice with the yugoslavian one down in there very very nice and again with your stencil data and your placement and all the rest of it it's really nicely laid out plenty of it it's really going to make the model pop and come to life and you've got the 60th anniversary one which looks really really nice as well that's very very nice as well for the romanian ones so beautiful beautiful job yes i have to say I'm blown away it's a beautiful little kit and again this is their first kit release and to come along with something like this of the quality of this and all the rest of it i think it's absolutely kudos to them they've done a lot of work they've been online a lot they've been asking for feedback they've been getting it clearly these are one of these companies that listen which is really nice as well because they're feeding back and getting that feedback and using it in a creative way instead of a negative way that certain companies do and things like that so definitely it's nice to see it's a great little kit i'm going to build this at some point as well because i do love it it's a beautiful kit and it'd be nice to do their first release as you say so uh, definitely but i have to say highly recommended this is the latiki if that's right uh j22 in one centi second scale first release from a brand new company highly recommended